One week in Pattaya is enough. It was time to head across to Siem Reap, Cambodia. The driver, Mr. Tong, was waiting for me with my name on a card, just like in the movies. The first moments in a new country are quite exciting. In this case, I was riding the tuk-tuk for about 15 minutes until we get to the hotel. Along the way, the roads were pretty quiet, but we passed nightlife areas and night market food stalls. I think I had a bit of a crush on the girl working at the hotel. Alright. Hi. Stefan, right? Yes. Cool. So Thank you. This was my pimped out hotel room, about 45 square meters and $42 a night. That's our uh, thousand bill? One thousand. Yeah, like big all like for like for. I felt a bit guilty about my nice hotel room. The next day I saw how some local people live. This is the stilt housing just outside of town. Unfortunately, this area floods and there's a lot of rubbish everywhere. To the night, um, this house okay. finished? Oh, fall yeah. down? Yeah, this one fall down? down. Yeah. And how high does the water go? Pardon? How high does water come? Uh, like, yeah, maybe some right here. Like just, just a little yeah. bit below? Yeah, but uh, a little bit. Like that. And some house, when high water, they just uh, move to other place, just, oh really? Yeah, just sell. When the loss again, they come to live again. Yeah. Friday Steven come to check and look, look how we like. <laughs> In a separate video, I gave the children some lollies. Now I'm navigating through the rubbish and the swamp where I met a guy and his ten brothers and sisters. He offered me some homemade alcohol, which I didn't try. But, however, I did hold some babies, just like the politicians in the election campaigns. <laughs> so, about 12 people live in this house. It does have electricity, and I'd say it's about 5 meters by 15 meters. <laughs> Next up, I headed further down the road to the floating village and the big lake. It all looks pretty ordinary and bland, and I later found out it was a bit of a scam, so I never did it anyhow. Ty, your name Ty. On the way back, stopped off at the lotus farm, met a young boy, and tried the flower. Bye bye. Why? I look my dad. Alrighty, so day two in Cambodia and I've got a free day to get to all the temples so first stop is Angkor Wat. Let's go check it out. I arrived at Angkor Wat after 10am. I feel like I didn't get much good footage and it was quite hot in the morning and towards midday the temperature was at a feels like temperature of around 40 degrees. I walked around by myself for around two hours and I'd say the crowd was quite moderate in size, easing off in the afternoon when it got hotter. Angkor Wat is around 900 years old and I can't imagine how they built it back then in those times. It's the largest and oldest place I've ever been to.
Once inside the gate, watch out for the fake tour guides and the overpriced clothing markets. However, there is some legit photo opportunities and the girls relieved to stop smiling after each picture. Okay, so it's midday now and I'd say most of the Chinese tourists are not here. The place is pretty empty now. Which is sweet! To Tom Raider Temple and here is the stop at the east side. So we have other exit at the west side, but here is a one gate. And the first time is beautiful, but after about 2,000 years ago, they had fall down some stone, some stone. Right now, the government is sell like this, and it's good also. And this temple have a lot of the people come to join, sit around inside, and have a lot of tree inside. But some tree, this big tree, and some tree small. I spent the afternoon exploring Taiporong. With almost no crowds in the late afternoon, this is the temple made most famous by the Tomb Raider movie and the trees claiming back the area after 900 years. This section being restored, and this whole section here is actually completely rebuilt. You are able to walk unrestricted through many of the corridors. After a short time I found myself in a stunning courtyard with collapsed walls and tree roots taking over the buildings. After about one hour of walking around, I found myself at the back entrance. There were no tourists in this area and it was quite quiet. Standing on, looking at the building, you get a size of the scope of the whole project. I also bumped into a lady who was sweeping up all the leaves. It's quite common to see people like this sweeping the whole area. The jungle is quite peaceful here. Let's have a quick listen. A ride along the Sim Rip River to the Kima Grill restaurant where I will try some local food. So that's one we call them cha drop. It's the Cambodian food. Yes, yeah, my food. How you test it? It's really nice. Ah, okay. Not too spicy. Oh, not chili. Have some chili. After lunch, I went to the primary school and saw the local soccer team in action. Then, for dinner, I stopped off at street food before beginning a questionable walk home in the dark. Another day, another temple adventure, this time beginning with the Bayon, probably the most complex temple in the region, and the one well known for its faces. Carvings of warriors, at least 800 years old in sections of wall 20 meters long. Inside, there are many passageways to explore, and it's quite easy to get lost. The sun had come out, and it's time to move on to the next temple, Bapuan, just 100 meters away. The location here was very peaceful. Next up, I saw the ruins of a Buddha 
in a laying down position, followed by some of the most dangerous steps that I've ever had to step on. This would be the last temple that I see, as on the way home, I pass the warriors that protect the temple gates. I also check out my driver's house. If you want to see that video, just check my channel. I found this local's food market, which was like nothing I've ever seen before. There's a video on that if you like, on my channel. Also, I had a cucumber massage, and the girl got a bit cheeky.